All right, so we're starting with uh, Rose today. <clears throat> so the different bars and grips that you do target different parts of your body. Like uh, the more narrow the grip, the more you're um, focusing on your lats. Whereas let's say I did like a wide grip, I'd focus more on kind of my overall back with the, you know, your lats your traps, your rear delts. Um, I'm just trying to focus on my lats, so I do a more narrow grip. There's also like reverse grip, neutral grip, wide, narrow, all that stuff. So I mentioned this before, um, with Pretty much every exercise, it's not about just lifting the weight or pulling it or pushing it. It's about the negative as well. So you're not just focusing on pulling it in and just completely relaxing and let it back. You want to control all the way back. The, what is it? The eccentric movement. So control it all the way back and uh, make sure you get a really good stretch as well. So you want to get a good stretch. I'll show you. With my uh, with the next exercise I'm talking about, but yeah, make sure you get a stretch, control it all the way back. Okay, so what I was talking about, I said I'd show you in the next exercise. With the single arm that pull down, you can get a really good stretch. I'm doing it this way instead of the old JPG way that I've been doing, is because I heard it makes sense that you're getting a bigger stretch than just pulling in front of you. If you're pulling across, you're getting a better stretch. And that's what you want. And then you pull it down, of course, control it all the way up and get as much of a stretch as possible. Okay, so classic single arm lat pullovers. Uh, reminder when you're doing single arm lat pullovers in general, you're not gonna do any bending or extending of the arms, it's all pretty much your shoulder. You're rotating your shoulder, not your arm. Got that? You want to activate your lats, not your triceps. I mean, do it, do whatever you want, you know? Okay, um, done with back, did a good seven sets. Now we're gonna move on to rear delts. Uh, today I'm just gonna do rear delt flies on the uh, pec deck. I think I'm just gonna do all my sets here. Probably gonna do about six sets. I already did my cardio. Make sure you do your cardio. Uh, 30 minutes on the treadmill with an incline, um, but yeah, I'll film this set, and then uh, I'll see you uh, in the change room. All right.
Because my fingers were too hard. These ones are like bulgarian and too hard. Okay, I think that's straight. The camera's shaking a little bit, but all right. Let's uh, let's check the pump. Okay. I mean, I guess today's back day. I don't know. I'm, all right. Let's check the back. Oh. Okay. That's enough posing. Um, I guess I'll just see you in the car. Yeah, because cardio is already done. All right. Okay. There I go again saying okay. I think I probably said it 20 times in this video, but it's all good, I hope. Um, back day done. I did a little variation of the single arm lat pull downs. Um, hope that helped. Uh, if you guys ever have any questions about anything, feel free to ask, just write in the comments and then, you know, I'll respond um, if I see the comment, sometimes YouTube like doesn't alert me, but I'll respond in the comments and uh, I might uh, just talk about it in the video, the next video or coming up videos, upcoming videos. Um, I'll do my best to help. Um, so yeah, feel free to ask, ask questions because I'm here to pass on any knowledge that I do have on any subject. Um, when it comes to fat loss, um, some of, some of this might be anecdotal too, because I am no expert at fat loss or at working out when it comes to the gym. I can only give advice on things that work for me or that I've done. Um, like even the way I work out right now, I like it so far, but eventually I'm pretty sure I'm going to change my training regime, my gym routine. Um, I might, um, cause I was actually looking at something recently, um, and I was thinking, oh yeah, this looks interesting uh, about, uh, training to failure with, uh, the long le length partials and saying they're good, but it's supposed to just be on the last set of a particular exercise. So maybe down the road, I will end up doing that for now. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. But yeah, so don't take my word as gospel, you know? If you hear some advice from me, try it out. If it's helpful, it helps. If not, try something else out. Maybe sign up someone else uh, that you see online or, you know, someone uh, at the gym, a trainer, a fellow gym rat, gym bro, whatever, gym sis, um, you know, they might have something else to say and then you can take their advice and maybe that'll help. So just try to get your information from as many sources as possible. Um, I mean, don't, okay, not as many sources as possible because there are so many contradictory <coughs> opinions on everything. If you try to get all the information, you are going to be overwhelmed with information and you are just going to freeze and not do anything because you're going to be like, oh, but I heard this is wrong, but this guy said this is right. Maybe I'll do this. Oh, but I heard this is wrong. Like, you're never going to find the perfect routine or exercise or whatever through just collecting information from other people. You can collect the information, but you actually got to go to the gym and apply it. Or, you know, with your diet, you got to try a certain diet, a lifestyle or whatever you want to call it. And apply it to you, to your life. And then you can see if it works or if it doesn't. Like I said, calorie counting for me works for a lot of, 
not a, I don't know about a lot, but for some people it doesn't. Then you have to find something else like intuitive eating. That does not work for me at all. Absolutely not. But it works for other people. So if someone's like, oh, you know, Leo, you try intuitive eating, it works. Listen, there is no one method that works for everyone in the fucking world, okay? You gotta find what works for you. Intuitive eating works for some people. Calorie counting works for some people. Intermittent fasting, same thing. Carnivore diet, same thing. Being a vegan, everyone's different. Don't let other people tell you what you have to do. Unless a doctor is telling you, you know, you're going to die otherwise. But don't let other people tell you what you have to do. Figure it out for yourself. See how it works. All right. Good talk. Um, so at my gym, I mentioned this before, I was like member of the month because uh, I was talking to the manager and she, I, I told her, she's like, why'd you go to the gym? And I told her my story. And she's like, wow, that's that's a really awesome story. I want you to share it. You're a member of the month and, you know, share your story and blah, blah, blah. So she asked a few questions in the interview. And one of the questions was, what motivates you to go to the gym? I mean, what motivated me to initially go to the gym? Not dying. I didn't want to die because I was afraid I was going to die. You know, you have a stroke and you're like, ah, shit, my body no longer wants to live. Um, so yeah, or it no longer can function properly. So that was my motivation to start going to the gym. Even though it was scary and you know, I could have died, that thought kind of fades. And the motivation to go to the gym, on just purely on that motivation, fades as well. And then any other kind of motivation, it just fades. It's temporary, at least for me and for a lot of people I talk to. So what you want to do is create a good habit. Make it a routine. Discipline. That's what I'm talking about when I say discipline. I went because I was motivated in the beginning and I kept going, but then Eventually, discipline took over because if I only went to the gym when I was motivated, I wouldn't be going half as much, even, I don't know, I'd, I'd be going maybe a, a third as much as I, I am going right now. I don't know, maybe I'll be motivated if I watch like a One Piece edit or something. But it's not, you're not always going to have motivation. You need to find other things. Mainly, for me, it was discipline. And now it's actually gotten to the point where I go to the gym every day. I rarely take rest days. Um, I've mentioned that before. And some people say, that's not good. That's not healthy. My girlfriend thinks I need to take more rest days. I understand maybe for my body, a rest day would be good. Yeah. But for my mind, I need to go to the gym every day. On my rest days, I mean, it's unhealthy. I, I know it's unhealthy. On my rest days, I don't feel right. Something just feels off about that day. It's because I'm not going to the gym. So I go to the gym every day, not because I think it's the best thing to do, but it's the best thing for my mind. And if I feel like maybe my body can't handle it, I will take a rest day. But if I feel like my body can handle it, but it's just kind of at, at the precipice of like, maybe I'm, uh, I'm having an, I might have an injury or like earlier this month or last month, I was getting sick. <clears throat> I'll just take it easy at the gym. I will go and I will go lighter or I'll shorten my workout, but I'll go lighter but I'll still go to the gym because I need it to put myself in the right headspace for the day. Um, I don't want my whole personality to you know, be the gym, but uh, it's kind of turning into that. You know, it's, it's healthy to have other hobbies though. Go outside, play sports. I want to start getting back into martial arts. 
I want to start going back to jujitsu class. Uh, I want to start going back to kickboxing class. And if I do, I'll film some of that stuff. And I'll put them in the videos or I'll make separate videos. YouTube right now, I mean, I don't have a lot of subscribers, but it's fun. It's something to do. And I'm learning new things. You know, it's a, it's a nice little hobby of mine. And I get to help people in the process. And that is the best part of it. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's probably enough chit chat for the day. There was something else I wanted to mention, but I guess I can save that for another day. I'll remember it eventually. I am very forgetful. But, uh, yeah, hopefully I say this pretty often. You had a good workout and hopefully you did your cardio and I hope you are making a good habit out of going to the gym. If you go once a week, great. That's all you could do. Then that's all you could do. If you went five times this week, awesome. Keep it up. I'll see you again tomorrow for arm day and traps. Okay. Have a good one. See you tomorrow.